So one of the things I miss the most after going low carb is definitely sushi. Hey guys, I'm Myra from Low Carb Love and today we're gonna be making sushi, but we're making it in a bowl. And of course it's gonna be low carb and keto friendly. So here we have our salmon filet. Now my go-to order at Sushi Spots is definitely like a rainbow row and I love it just because it has all the fish and the avocado and it's just like really focused on like a protein focused roll. But of course it has all the rice. So today we're gonna make something very similar but we're making it in a bowl. So now what we're gonna do is obviously get started. We have our salmon filet. I'm gonna go pretty simple on the seasoning because this is just like a really high quality salmon. You don't really have to season it with, you can, okay? Of course, you can always add your garlic powder, onion powder. But today we do want the extra flavor because um, everything else is pretty plain Jane. So we're doing salt, pepper. We have our garlic powder and ginger. This is gonna add all the flavor. Okay, I'm gonna spray a little avocado oil just so that everything can stick onto our filet. And we're gonna move over to the stove. Okay, so we have this at a medium high heat. We're gonna add in a little avocado oil to get that nice crispy skin. Okay, we're gonna do skin side down. Ooh, yes, queen. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. The colors, everything just looks so vibrant. I'm loving it right now. Okay, so right now, as you can tell, it's starting to get a nice crisp on the skin. I like it really crispy. So I'm actually gonna let this cook skin side down for about another two minutes or so. So now we're just gonna go ahead and cover it and let the salmon cook evenly. Okay, so now we're gonna get started on our cauli rice. I'm just gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. So now we're just gonna add in our cauli rice. We're gonna add a little salt. Okay, so our rice is almost done. Let's go ahead and check on our salmon. Ooh, looks beautiful. I've already flipped it over. Nice crust on the skin. I'm probably gonna let it cook for about one more minute. We'll turn off the heat on that. And over here on our rice, we are gonna add a little bit of rice vinegar. Okay, and sweetener. So believe it or not, but sushi rice actually has sugar. So we are mimicking our sushi rice to the T. Yeah, look at that, beautiful. Our rice is all done, it's nice and fluffy. It has all the seasonings, our salmon's done. Let's go ahead and start assembling our bowl. So you can't have a sushi bowl without spicy mayo. So we are going to add in our avocado mayo, just pouring everything into a bigger bowl. Then we have our sriracha. Pour that right in. And one thing that I didn't know that spicy mayo has is a little rice wine vinegar. Boom. All right, let's go ahead and mix. Okay, so we have our squirt bottle and I'm gonna throw in our spicy mayo just so that we can get it like really nice and pretty on the bowl. So we have everything already set up. Our salmon's done, rice is fluffy. We have all of our ingredients that are going in there. So the first things first is we need our bowl. I love making my sushi bowls in like a big bowl because I feel like it just makes it so pretty. I got these, uh, I believe off Amazon. I'll link, I'll link them in the description below for you just if you guys are you know, wanting a pretty salad bowl, or in this case, a sushi bowl. So we're gonna throw in all of our cauli rice. Then we have our Persian cucumbers. I like to make everything look really pretty because I think it just, at the end, it just makes the, um, the overall look of the bowl just look really beautiful, but I think it's worth it because I like to eat with my eyes too. Then we have our green onion. We have our ginger, so this is just pickled ginger. We have our avocado, that's beautiful. Then we have our salmon. Okay, so this is obviously a huge piece of salmon and I'm gonna make another bowl with it, but I wanna show you how beautiful it looks. I even had to cut a piece off because it was so big. We're using some furikake seasonings. I just grabbed this at uh, Trader Joe's. Then we have our 
sesame seeds that's gonna go over the salmon. Look really pretty, just kind of over the whole bowl. And then we have our spicy mayo. And last but not least, our seaweed. Boom. Okay, so tell me that this does not look like professionally made. Like I would legit order this at a restaurant. Guys, what? Okay, we're gonna go in for the taste test. We have our salmon that is legit like buttery soft, a little Persian cucumber, a little piece of avocado. Okay, so we have our seaweed. Just gonna make sure I get some of the kali rice as well. This is like the perfect bite with a little bit of everything. And cheers. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Sushi. Wow. This literally tastes like a sushi roll, but it's just in a bowl. And it's low carb. Mm -mm -mm. It's like a win-win across the board. So much flavor, different textures but it's just delicious. Like if you love sushi, you're gonna be obsessed with this. Literally go make this right now. <laughs> the one thing I would say you cannot leave out, if you're gonna go make this bowl right now, like you have to make the spicy mayo because like you can't really have sushi without the spicy mayo, my humble opinion. Um, of course you need your protein, so salmon, crucial. Guys, the kali rice literally does, you can't even tell it's cauliflower, so. I think like all together, it just all works so well. And even the little seaweed snacks, I feel like, I just like them because they're small, but if you have the big sheets, you can literally make like a hand roll, cut them up into pieces yourself. Like it's just the perfect lunch or dinner, a hundred percent. I'm telling you, you guys have to go make this. I'm gonna leave all the recipes linked in the description below. If you guys like this video and idea, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to share not only the channel and this recipe with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or maybe just wanting healthier choices in their life. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Now I'm gonna go and enjoy my salmon bowl.